In this video, we'll be going over charging IB388 batteries with IMARS D300 chargers and we'll take readings with the NFC Tools app. The IB388 battery is a hot swappable, American made intelligent battery tailored for use with the IF800 Tomcat. With internal cell balancing, health monitoring, and cycle tracking via Bluetooth, the IB388 ensures optimal flight time in demanding environments. The aircraft comes with two chargers and two charging cables. Charge one battery per charger at a time. Charging two batteries with one charger can result in charging errors. Ensure the IMARS D300 charger is plugged into a 120 volt outlet and is in the idle state. Plug in the yellow XD60 into the channel A port on the D300. Press the battery indicator buttons to activate them and they will start flashing green. Sometimes the center buttons can be difficult to press and more force is required. Next, connect the charge cables to the batteries. A pop-up window will appear asking you to confirm the battery is an IB388. Press the up arrow and then the enter setting button to select yes and charging will begin. Verify the battery light is solid blue to indicate charging. Verify the D300 is charging. The charger will display time it has been charging, current, voltage, and milliamp hours charged. The charging percentage on the chargers can be inaccurate. Best practice is to wait until the charger has gone into an idle state and then check the state of charge using the NFC Tools app. If you need to cancel charging, hold down the Enter Setting button until it shows the battery has entered the idle state before unplugging the battery. When the battery is flashing green four times and the charger display has returned to the idle state, charging is complete and it's safe to remove the charging cable. The IB388 battery's technical specifications and much more can be found on Inspired Flight's website in the Knowledge Base section. The link is in the video description below. The IB388 batteries are compatible with NFC tools by WakeDev. Download this free mobile app to monitor health, cycle count, and state of charge. Search for and install NFC tools from the App Store or from Google Play iPhone users will need to press the setting icon and change the mode from normal to compatibility. Press the batteries button to activate it if it's not already in the active state. Open the NFC Tools app and select read. When the app shows ready to scan, rest the phone on top of the battery. The app will retrieve the data from the battery. Verify that the S health is above 80%. If the S health is below 80%, the battery should not be used. Additional battery data to review is the voltage level of the battery, the state of charge or S charge, and the percentage charged. The batteries are required to be removed when storing the IF800 in its case. The IF800 aircraft case can hold one pair of batteries. The IB388 batteries exceed the 99 watt hour limit and cannot be brought on a commercial flight recommend shipping batteries using ground services ahead of time. All IB388 batteries have a built-in feature that will automatically begin discharging them to a storage charge state after 48 hours of inactivity. When this occurs, the status LED will blink blue and the battery may become warm during this process. Users can initiate self-discharging by holding the button for 5 seconds or until the LED begins to blink blue. To stop discharging, repeat the process. High voltage lithium batteries should be stored in a fireproof container specifically designed for lithium batteries. These containers are designed to limit any fire from spreading. Batteries are to be stored in a cool dry place away from direct sunlight and moisture. Ideal storage temperatures range from 50 Fahrenheit to 86 Fahrenheit. IB388 batteries should be charge cycled at least once every three months to maintain optimal health. For additional details about the IB388 batteries, please refer to the IFT Knowledge Base. You'll find the link in the video description below.